Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're continuing our adventures on Ark Survival Ascended. However, we've now moved to a private server. And yeah, we'll catch you up with where we're at. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. If you do, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright, so I've switched off my single player game to a private server. And I've got some mods on here, but I need to needed to catch you guys up so here is the base we are still working on our megatherium army I'm doing some breeding also breeding the tickle tickles and rexes on this we do have griffins so I'm working on those too because why not but yeah, so we're on the private server now. And let me let me show you my neighbor. This is Nikki Bubblegum's house. If you don't know Nikki Bubblegum, you should check her out on Twitch. She's pretty funny. But anyways, we're, we'll just go in her house. I like to be a little mischievous and throw random dinos in her house while she's sleeping so that she can wake up to those but yeah so now we need to work on getting a Uteranus for the boss fights so I'm going to work on that alright so now we're gonna search for Yudi with my level 300 and something RG But while I'm here, I might as well get some meat. Continue to level up my RG. I haven't thought of a name for my RG yet. Thought I just heard a roar. A Uteranus roar. Could be wrong. Why did I not get the meat? Okay, I just need to check something here. Yeah, okay. What's hit me? Oh, another one of those. He threw doo doo at me. How dare you throw doo doo at me? Okay. But let's not forget what we're after. We need a fuzzy Rex. Let's see if there's any down this. There's definitely one somewhere. Okay. There's one. Let's see what level you are. You're level 120? No, 20. Okay. 20 is not good enough. 120 I would have took him. Good. I got him before he could fear me. That was my big worry. I didn't want to get feared. So, that one's not going to work. I'm going to have to find another. Another. But those furry rexes are exactly what I'm looking for. I could do breeding on them. Try to mutate them. But not until I get a high level one. Has to be a high level one. Otherwise it's no bueno. Okay, so I'm also just clearing stuff. Ooh, look at that wolf. That's a pretty wolf. And that Carno. Come here, Carno. 
Come here, Argy. Just, shh, just let it happen. Let's do this. Okay. Alright, so... We're good there. Now we're going to just keep looking for... Fuzzy Rexes. Okay, so... Oh, he scared me. I need to see what level that dude is. I can't believe he just scared me like that. I think I can use a mammoth and not get scared. But... I like my RG. I just gotta figure out where he was. And try that again. Okay, where are you? Are you dead? Or are you still around? Because I see your little minions, but I don't see you. Oh, I think he's dead. Let's kill his minions. See if he comes or running. He did look injured, so he probably wasn't high level. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. I think his minions ate him. Do you imagine that? They're like your friends your whole life, and then you get injured and they just eat you. That's a hard life. Let's track it. Okay, 120. Perfect. Start shooting. Need to make sure I'm shooting the right thing, though. I missed. Okay, we've almost got it. Luckily now, I've got it tracked. I missed again. Holy golly. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Come over here so I don't injure the... Yuri Rannis. I don't want to injure it. Okay, I'm just kind of looking out. Yep. Just waiting to see if anything else was going to show up. Come here, you. Come on. He's dead. Anything else around? Or am I good? Okay. 
think I'm good. I hope. I don't know if he likes this kibble or not. Let me on my griffin. Alright, come over here so we don't injure. There we go. Don't want to injure the ut uteranus. I think he did like that kibble. I think he did. Yeah. Or he ate. I'm not sure if he ate the kibble or the meat. I think he's eating the meat. Or she. Okay. She. Level 120 I can work with. I can breed it up. Get it a little bit higher. Let's see. So there's four kibble. I don't think it was the kibble that he ate. Or she ate. I think I only put four in there. Let's see when it takes another bite. We'll determine. Because I can't remember if they like the kibble from wreck eggs and stuff or not. Come on, take another bite. You know you want to. You know you want to. Alright, so it took another bite. Let's see. Yeah, no. It does not like to kibble. Okay, good to know. Now we just wait for it. Alright. It is now... Tracked. Take the tracking off, or it's now tamed, I should say. I've got a mod. That's a cryopod mod, basically. Not to be confused with the new cryopods they put in that are jank. But they work much like the old cryopods. Alright, so we got that. So now we just need to find a male. It doesn't matter what level it is. It could be level 5 for all I care. Oh, but this fog is driving me nuts. Okay. So we're just gonna... I'm just gonna stay on the griffin. Because I don't need to kill anything else. I don't need to get rid of them. I hear one. Where are you at? There you are. Are you a male? You are. And you're only level 15. But I don't care what level you are. Go to sleep. Oh. You know what I realized? I didn't take any of the uh, raw mutton off of my other one that I was taming. It's all on the ground somewhere. Oh well. Again, we don't really care about this one's level. It should tame up pretty quick, I think.
Okay, so that Uterinus is tamed. So let's put it in a cryopod. Maybe. It's being difficult. There we go. Alright. So now we can head back to the base and start breeding them. Now that we're back at the base, I gotta set up these UDs. So there's the male. Okay. And the female. Alright, so the goal now is to basically let them have eggs until I get a 179 male. So let's enable mating. And let's enable mating. Okay. So now they should be mating. They'll lay eggs. And the eggs will be captured by this box right here. Let's see what we have in here. So I'm going for... I think this is a new one. I'm going for mutations, specific mutations. So let's see, 11 and 11. I think that's brand new. So basically we have 11 health mutations and 11 melee mutations. And I've been naming them specifically. So this is health 10 M11. So yes, that is a new one. So let's get rid of this one. Let us... How are you on food? You're good. Okay. So we're going to pop out this Therizino. And it's male. Ooh, it's pretty. It's real pretty. Alright, so let's name it H11 Melee 11 male okay so I need to grow him up with this mod we also get this imprinting kibble but it also works to uh, quickly level them so we're going to use that you need seven to basically level them up all the way. You only need four if you're just trying to imprint them to 100% with my settings anyway. Okay. So he's good. Now, let's see. Griffins, we need to look for a 227. Seven. We do not have any griffins that are 227. Uh, RGs, we need to look for 271. Nothing there. And Rexes, I think we need 238. No, we need 241. So let's see. 241. Uh, we have some Rexes. Okay, let's see. This has two melee, four health, and two oxygen, or one oxygen. We don't need oxygen. This one has stamina. We don't need stamina. Okay, so I don't want to keep any of those. The last thing I need to look for is Megatheriums. Which would be 264. Nothing. Okay. So let's get rid of all those extras we don't need. And I'm going to drop all these eggs. And as soon as they're born, they're captured. Oh, yeah, I need food. As soon as they're born, they're captured into that cryopod. 
um, so that I can look at them and they won't die. So it basically really does make it automatic so I don't have to sit here and wait for them to be hatched. And I don't have to uh, care for them immediately or else they die. So it's good. It's really helpful. Kind of, oh, that's a Uteranus egg. I was like, what kind of egg is that? So see, the Uteranus have already spawned here. So we'll just let all those go. I need some food. And then I am going to go get more uh, artifacts. Alright, so after a lot of uh, getting lost, I finally made my way to the artifact of the Clever. So I need to go down here and pick this up. I just need to make sure everything's clear first. Looks like it is. Um, I'm a bit encumbered. So I need to put some of this on the bird. There we go. Alright, now let's go get this. This is what we're after. So we'll take that. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to get out of this cave and go back to the house. Okay, so we are outside of the cave for the hunter artifact. Uh, wait, there we go. Okay, there's us on the map right here. Since I've already got that though, I'm already at the entrance. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to navigate to this one, which is the inside. So I've got my RG in here. So let's get the RG and try to find our way to this. These caves can be a little confusing how to get to where you need to go and I'm very directionally challenged I believe we still gotta go this way I see you. You stinky titan boa. I'm not sure that this uh, marker is very accurate. I put it there last time I was in here. But I don't know that it worked properly. I do want all this chit. Minty bugs. Oh. Still a spider on me. Give me all your chitin. Get off me. Pretty sure we can get 
through here with the RG. I think it's just tricky. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, come on. Are we out? Are we stuck? We're out. Alright, I guess we're just gonna go through. I see a spider in there. Take the meat and that, and the titan bow of venom. Okay. Shoot him. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, see, it shows way up there, but it's not. But here's the artifact of the hunter. So we got that fairly easy. Okay, so now I guess we'll head home. Oh yeah, I do want the chitin. Alright. Go back through here. Where is it? There's Archie. Alright, yeah. Now we'll just head back home. Alright, so now we're gonna go on a little underwater adventure. I'm trying to find a higher level Basilosaurus. This one's only a level 50. So I'm just gonna clear it in hopes that one respawns. But if you use the R dot volumetric fog zero command. Seeing in the ocean is just so much easier. So if you're looking for something specific, I definitely recommend using it. So I'm taking my basil to basically kill the other basils that I don't need. but I'm actually searching for him on a dolphin. So I'm switching back and forth because I have the cryopod mod that is like the original cryopods, so much easier to use. All right, he's dead. They give lots of oil, but I really don't need any of it. So, I am going to take the blubber. Other than that, you go back in the pod. And we get our dolphin back out. Okay. And now, all I got to do is keep searching for more. And clearing out the ones that are too low level for me.